Hi guys and welcome to this Blender 2.8 tutorial. For today's tutorial we're going to be showing you how you can create a simple road system in Blender. So step one involves setting up the viewport. So select your default cube and delete it. And then you want to go to top orthographic view. You can do so by left clicking on this Z button here or by pressing the number 7 key on your number pad. This will take you into top orthographic view. Step 2. Create your path and position it. So shift A, add curve and select path. Then grab it on the X axis and position it about here. Of course, with your road system, you may want to construct it differently. So just move it wherever you feel appropriate. So I'm going to rotate this path by 90 degrees and then press enter. And then I'm going to apply the rotation by hitting control and A and selecting apply rotation. For step three, we're going to be using edit mode to construct the road system itself. So press the tab key to go into edit mode and select this top point here and begin extruding with the E key on your keyboard. So here I'm just adding points so that I can create a closed loop going all the way around our system. So if I just pop this one about here, in order to close this loop, I can shift left click on this point and then hit the F key on my keyboard. Now we have a completely closed loop. So that brings us to step four, which is going to be to make those minor adjustments to get our road system looking exactly how we want it. So I'm just going to make it look a little bit less stretched for me to something like this. And then once you are happy with what you have got, go back to object mode to see how it looks. Step five is going to be to create the actual geometry. So again, we're going to go shift A, but this time we're going to select mesh and then plane. Now I am going to resize and reshape my plane. You may or may not need to do so depending on what texture you will be using for your plane and also on the size of the path itself. So because my path is very small, this plane is much too big. So I'm going to hit the S key and scale it down to 0.2 on all axes. I'm going to press enter. And then I'm going to scale it again on the X axis by two. This way, the size and shape of my plane is going to better match the texture that I am going to use. Before I can move on to the next step, I'm going to want to apply this scale, so control and A, and then apply scale. Step six involves creating the two modifiers that are going to allow us to create the road itself. So first we have to add an array modifier. So go to the add modifier tab and select array. And then we're going to add a second modifier, which is going to be our curve modifier. Then we're going to come down to the curve modifier, left click where it says object, and then select NURBS path. Now you can see that the geometry of the object is beginning to follow the path itself. If you don't see this, you might need to change the deformation axis so that you can then see the geometry. For me, it's only visible when the deformation axis is set to the X axis, but that is perfectly fine for me. Now it's a matter of increasing the count value until our road goes all the way around the path. 
Be cautious of overlapping, which is very easy to do here. If you are happy with your path, you can apply the modifiers. However, if you want to continue editing your path, then what you can do is you can keep the modifiers for now, select your path, and then go back into edit mode. And then you can continue to edit your path and you can see that the road will follow your path. However, do note that if the total length of the path increases like this, so I'm going to just increase the length of the path overall by moving around the points, then you can see that we will need to go back to our geometry and increase the array count. So that would be a matter of going back into object mode, selecting the road itself, and once again, increasing the count value. So for step seven, we're going to be adding our texture to our road. That means we're going to be going to the shading workspace located here. We're going to left click on the new button. And then we're going to add an image texture. Now, the texture that I am using is from textures.com. So I'm going to go Shift A, add texture, image texture, and position. I'm going to connect it up to the base color. And at the moment, you can see that our object's color has gone dark. This is because we have no image applied to this node. So I'm going to go open and then I'm just going to find my texture. So this is the texture that I am using. I got it from textures.com. You can use whatever texture you like. And once I've done that, if we zoom in on a part of the road, then you'll be able to see that the texture has been successfully applied. So now if we were to go back to our main workspace and then let's just pop over into look dev mode so that we can successfully see the texture. If we now decide to apply the two modifiers, so both the array and the curve modifier, we can see that we have a successful road that has been created in Blender. If you remember the issue that we had earlier with overlapping geometry, then you can go back and fix that. So for me, I'm just going to hit the space bar and then I'm going to select merge by distance. So if it's not already typed in, you can just type in merge by distance. And then that's just going to remove any vertices that don't need to be a part of our model. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to create a simple road system in Blender. Obviously, using this method, you can create your road system into any shape that you possibly want. Thanks, guys, and I hope to see you in another video.